Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Battlefield Iraq. I have returned from my one month trip to the Balkans, a beautiful land of rundown flats and gypsy palaces, and now as July begins, I am more than motivated, full of energy, ready to start this brand new series. It is 1991, I have just flipped this jeep upside down, I'm not even one minute into this series and I've already started to screw up. But that doesn't matter to me. What matters is securing victory since here we are, it's the 1991 Persian Gulf War. Under the command of George H.W. Bush, the American army has begun its invasion of Kuwait aiming to supposedly liberate it from the forces of the Iraqi army under the dear leader, President Saddam Hussein, leader of the Arab Ba'at Socialist Party. An American helicopter has come plummeting to the, to the ground, or was it an, uh, oh crap, it was an Iraqi helicopter, that's bad. Anyway. My task here today is to make sure that Iraq preserves its control over Kuwait, which is rightful Iraqi land, I must add, and that we defeat the American invasion once and for all, showing the West that the Arabs are strong enough to take charge of their own affairs. Now, with this second jeep, I shall strike right at the American base. Shooting at these Yankee soldiers with my assault rifle. My trusty classic arm. And crap, they must be wearing some kind of body armor. I need to bring out my knife. Fuck's sake. Okay. One thing you might have noticed already is that we will spend most of this series at a heavy disadvantage in materials, in weaponry, and in technology. Hopefully, we should be able to beat the Americans through our superior numbers. Our comrade was just shot dead by an American armored vehicle. And we have no anti-tank weaponry. Great, that Bradley APC right there is pretty damn strong. Regardless, we have just been revived by our dear comrade and I'm going to pull back. We've got a T-72 tank coming right here. Unfortunately, it might not be as badass as the M84 was in Yugoslavia, but it should be able to do the job. This series will be quite long, I might say. Not near to as long as Battlefield Yugoslavia. It will hopefully be under 20 episodes long, so you can think of it as a sort of mini-series. It'll last for pretty much the entire summer. By the way, I'd like to give credit to my fan, Father McGuan, for successfully guessing that my next series would be set in Iraq. If anybody knows where I can get him with the lifetime supply of fresh Somalian cutlery that I promised him, please tell me in the comments section, because I'm kind of lost. And I found a Hummer, I mean Humvee, for Christ's sake, Hummer is the commercial one, isn't it? Please tell me that in the comments section as well. I'm driving around in this Humvee. I've got my machine gun ready. If this is an American helicopter, I'm gonna send it plummeting down. And it is! Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. This is a big battle, but it's nowhere near to be the biggest. There's gonna be much bigger battles during this series, because right now where we are fighting is the Ad-Daura oil fields of Kuwait. Very important for both sides, since the Americans are desperate for oil because they know that I'm going to drive the prices up if I hold on to it. Not just me, but Iraq, to be honest. 
while I want to take control of it alongside my dear Iraqi comrades because it is a crucial source of oil that will help pay off all of our debts. Now, we are at an advantage compared to the Americans, though this might be short-lived. I'm going to assault this American-held village once more. Hopefully we can strike them a blow. There's my old Jeep. I've learned my lesson since when I crashed that. I know now to aim for the head. These Americans have to be shot like zombies. And one of them's noticed me. I need to fight them right here, right now. I'm gonna shoot some shots, fire some shots. Hope they don't flank me. Secure this base. Remark the fact that there are forces fighting here. And crap. He killed me. Not that it's something to worry about. I think we will be able to win this battle since I am charismatically leading my dear Iraqi comrades right here. We are going to defeat the evil Americans, the great Satan. And to guarantee the freedom of the Middle East, we'll show the West just how strong the Arabs are. By the way, for those of you who want to see more Yugoslav action, don't worry, I will return to Yugoslavia in the future. This uh, adventure in the Middle East is only temporary. It might be longer than I expect, who knows. And I missed that helicopter right there. But either way, as I said, I will eventually return to Yugoslavia. Probably to the Kosovo War, since that's the only part of the Yugoslav Wars that I've yet to explore. Now, with my T-72 tank, I'm going to try and down this helicopter. Hopefully it's an American one. Yes it is! Wait, no! It's Iraqi! It's Iraqi! Fuck, I accidentally shot down an Iraqi helicopter. And that's the problem. That's why you see Arab armies being so incompetent. They can't really tell who's on which side. And shit! The Americans are launching rockets. As I said, they're better armed than us. Their weapons are from the 80s and the 90s. They're cutting edge. Well, I'm using weapons which, at their best, are from the 70s. Now, we have to ram these American armored vehicles to destroy them. Not that it's a problem to me. I just rammed that proudly, knocking it out, and I blew up that American rocket launching vehicle as well. Take that, you American scumbags! And an Apache helicopter just killed me. Great, that from above, just how I like it. I'm hoping that the volume is in order with the series, since I remember that in Battlefield Yugoslavia, the very first episode had quite a few problems when it came to volume. You couldn't hear my voice over the sounds of the game. So I'm hoping that this time round I will be more audible. If you have any uh, comments concerning the audio, please uh, post them, let me know. I want to hear your feedback this series. I waited, I had to wait too long to hear your opinions on Battlefield Yugoslavia. But anyway, we are back to fighting right now. We've got a T-72 tank backing us up. There's our dear leader Saddam. We get a look, good look at him. Our dear president Saddam Hussein, commander of Iraqi forces. For he is the man that we fight for today. The glorious nationalist dictator of Iraq. In an attempt to sound more like an Arab, I will be trying to roll my R's and I'll be pronouncing P's as B if I can. Just as I occasionally fell into a Balkan accident in the battle for Yugoslavia, I'll be doing the same here. And fuck that rocket is close to hitting me. Let's see, can I shoot down? Yes, we shot down the Apache! Fantastic, that's our vengeance. Anti-aircraft guns, Iraqi style. The Americans are still at a heavy disadvantage, and it's time to make it heavier. I'm gonna flank them, and blow them up. I'm gonna scrape them with my machine gun fire, and make this ordeal hell. Because that's what will happen to those who mess with Iraq. 
hopefully I can come up with more rhetoric, more things to say than in the last series. I'll admit that I got a bit bored and repetitive back in Yugoslavia. I'm noticing that this game is starting to lag a bit. Not that good. And the American rockets are still being launched. And we've downed an American helicopter. It is a medical evac helicopter, that's just great. But he's parachuted out, so let's run him over. Here we go. There we go, we crushed him. Flatten that American asshole. Now, for most of my fans, this will be a fun thing to watch, since I'm guessing most of you are not Europeans. I mean, you are Europeans, not Americans, I mean. I'm already starting to lose this. Anyway, many of you are not Americans, so you hopefully won't find me bad mounting America in this series at every single opportunity. For those of you among my fan base who are from the United States of America, my sincerest apologies. It's nothing personal if I enjoy watching your country suffer. Now I've fallen into this pit with my T-72 tank. It's a beautiful tank indeed. I'm gonna catch some speed and try to get out. And I'm failing, so I guess I will resort to the old solution of just climbing out on foot. An American helicopter just flew over me, a medical evac helicopter. It means that we are wounding the Americans. And there's an American rocket launcher, rocket launching truck or whatever, right here. I'm going to ambush it from behind and fire some grenades. There we go, it's not doing much damage, he has heavy armor, this isn't good. My ambush is failing. America's aircraft are attempting to strafe me. Things are going badly. My one shot at taking that vehicle out now is to kill the driver with my assault rifle. Which I doubt will be too easy to do. Now, I'm going to continue my attack on this American base. You might notice that Battlefield Iraq episodes will be shorter than the Battlefield Yugoslavia ones. And I messed up a few buttons there. Come on, get up here like a man. Fight me like a man, you fucking American soldier. There we go. Shiv, shank. And we gotta fall back again. I'm gonna take cover in some buildings because these Americans can and will kill me on site. Anyway, trying to flank me, huh? And he managed to shank me back. Well, that's just great. What was I talking about again? Yeah, I, I think it was something about Battlefield Yugoslavia. It was the time, yeah, that was it. The time, the length of the episodes. Battlefield Iraq episodes will probably be shorter than Battlefield Yugoslavia ones, since I have tweaked the game settings a bit. You won't be having any more half-hour episodes or the way you had them back in the finale of Battle for Yugoslavia, five part episode, because that was just too much. This series isn't going to be as big a project as that. After all, this is mainly intended to consolidate my viewer base. Battle for Yugoslavia created, created it, Battle for the Rat will guarantee it, and these American vehicles are too fast for my face. And they knocked out one of our DRDM vehicles and the Humvee blew up in my face. Time to hide in a bunker, like an Albanian. What a coward I am. I'll take some hot shots at the Americans while I'm here. But my main intention will be defending Iraq, defending the Arab world, defending Islam from the American intruders and their coalition of chaos, including Britain, France, and many other nations around this world. It's the biggest military coalition since the Second World War. It even includes our neighbors, Saudi Arabia and Syria. Syria being a fellow Ba'athist regime, I might add. So it's foul treachery on the part of our dear Syrian allies to betray us like this. I'll get revenge on them when the time is right. My vehicle blew up thanks to an American's plastic explosive. Not that I'm worrying about that, because I will attack once more, using my trusty Kalashnikov as I have in all other series, i.e. my only other series, Battlefield Yugoslavia. I will be fighting fiercely with this Kalashnikov with all of this Soviet equipment. 
Right now we've got some modern stuff, we've got T-72s and so on. This is the best export stuff that the USSR had to offer. However, it's 1991, so the USSR can't really offer much more. We will notice, later in the series, I know you will notice, my dear fans, that as the situation grows more desperate, as the American forces whittle us away further and further, we will have to resort to older equipment. We might even end up using equipment from the 1950s. But despite this, our bravery will be able to win for us. I've nailed that Apache helicopter, but it's not blown up yet. This truck is still launching its rockets, my dear brave Iraqi soldiers. But no more. I've had enough of your antics, Mr. USI Bot 61. Unfortunately, this mod does not have real names for all of the soldiers. It's a pity, it's one of the things that I enjoyed about Battlefield Yugoslavia. I was actually able to relate with the soldiers on a personal level. I got to know every single one of them. I remember that guy Timonio Luksic or whatever, and Oz Manon Manogic and so on and so forth. Here it's very impersonal. As you'll see here, we've only got USI bots 1 through 64. It's kind of sad, but that doesn't matter. If I have to make up a name, I will be ready to do so. I can I can already tell that my comrades here are called Ahmed or Mehmet or Osman or whatever they be called. A bunch of typical Arabs, I must say. Now, an American got me with his M14, but it's no problem at all. This is the introductory episode, this is kind of like the prologue, and I'm already winning anyway. I might be able to actually stop the American invasion of Kuwait. Most people in the West call it a liberation, but to me, as an Iraqi soldier, it is an invasion of Iraq's indivisible sovereign territory. And what the hell is this American up to right here? How dare you get so close to me? There we go, we hit him head on like a fucking cyclist on the motorway. Now, they're starting to flank my tank, but they're explosive. These Americans are smarter than I thought. That's the problem with these Americans. They act so stupidly that for a moment they leave you thinking that there might be something more, something else for their moves. Now this guy is running as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog, and I have no idea why. And I just disemboweled him with a tank shell, so it doesn't matter. Either way, victory is here, it's near, and we are about to win our very first battle. A glorious battle indeed. The Americans are on the run, and Battlefield Iraq has a good beginning. So now, let's begin the end of this episode. Episode 1 of Battlefield Iraq. I'm going to shoot on this American right now. I'm not going to wait for the shell on him, or it is time. We have claimed victory for Iraq. A glorious victory indeed against the American menace. This is the first victory in a series of many other victories. And though this sounds like propaganda, trust me, it is. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to the very first episode of Battlefield Iraq. I hope that you all enjoy the series. If you do enjoy this episode and all the other episodes, I hope, please remember to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. Post your comments if you have any opinions. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye for now.